Would you consider marrying someone who you may made babies with settling? Well, <laughs> this particular lady in this video seems to think so. Um, this is Kevin Samuel's reaction, and my name is Mushiri Wamureu. And consider subscribing and liking the video if you haven't. Let's get into the video. Hey, uh, Natasha, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How old are you? 32. All right. What's your question, comment, or concern? Um, my question is basically, I am not, well, this is basically a statement first. I'm not looking for a high value man. Um, I just never been <laughs> picky. I've, you know, that, that statement by itself is kind of cringy. It's kind of weird. Like, who do do you think ladies generally look go go looking for high value men? Is that what they do? Like that sounds gold digger type situation. Yeah? So it's basically saying, "Hi, I am not a gold digger. <laughs> I'm not looking for men with resources." <laughs> you know, um, I mean, who goes saying that? Um, that, I think that's why Kevin is like cringy. You know, it's kind of weird. Get my likes up, people. What are you looking for? I'm just looking for someone that makes me happy and I can make them happy. Um, it's called it's called a canine or a feline. <laughs> um, People take work. Buy a dog. <laughs> I know. I, I mean, I'm going to ask you I some questions. I, do you have any children? Yes, yes I do. How many? Yes, I, do. I have two little girls. Both by the same man? Yes. How long were you guys together? Mm, probably about three years. Why didn't you guys get married? Um, he wants to be with me. Um, but I, it was very toxic. It's, it just didn't work out. What? I was, I was really young. What? <laughs> I was really young. Um, no, why didn't been... you get married? I was young. I was young. I mean, the kind of, it's, 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 it's so redundant at this point. No. Ladies just complaining or blaming all their mistakes on the age thing, you know. It's kind of difficult to to buy that right now. Um, however, why would you make babies with someone we wouldn't marry? You know, do people really change that much after after having kids? Like, you must have seen he is weird or you don't like him all that much. Or you wouldn't like to spend the rest of your life with because having kids with him, two two kids, and this is someone you you can't marry. It's it's very suspect. Why didn't he wanted to marry you, but you you had his baby, but you didn't want to marry him? Yes, because of uh -huh. how he treated me. Um, oh, you, treat, uh, you mean before he shot up the club and you had his babies, right? Mm -hmm. right. See, I find it funny that you want to be have somebody that's going to be so nice to you, make you happy, you make them happy, that you let a guy impregnate you twice and he wants to marry you, but yet you running out the door. Me, me. Yeah, he doesn't, and that's the thing. I don't want to be with him because he doesn't make me happy. Uh, he he does, see, he does. Listen. I mean, is, is that one of the reasons why maybe you should marry the person first before <laughs> getting kids, right? I mean, I, I mean, she would argue she would have still been mistreated, um, and and she's not clear with that either way, right? So it's not clear how how he's not good to her. However, if you were married, I think you'd be in a better position with him, knowing the U.S. <laughs> how it is. The guy might be in trouble right now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not encouraging that, but. Listen, 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 listen. You ready? Ready? How old are you again? Yes. 32. I don't give a shit if you're happy. You are mama. Twice. The world does not need to suffer you. You decided to lay down and have one, two different children. Happiness ain't on the menu at the restaurant you're eating at. Duty, responsibility, and honor are. The man wants to be with you. Be happy after you do your duty. 
So you're saying. I said exactly it, what I'm saying. French toast your happiness. Make a family with the man you made babies with. I mean, for, for the most part, kids really don't care if you're happy. They are selfish. They, are, they just they just want to see their parents there and being provided stuff for. So, but they definitely notice when the parents are not together, and it kind of it kind of gets to us this cycle of single parents, single parents, because it's kind of it kind of normalizes it when you guys don't marry, you guys are not sticking together, right? And the cycle continues, and it so when when the kid, your child, is at, at an age where he's supposed to marry, he's like, "Yo, my mom survived like this, so why why would I want to marry? You know, I, I can I can do it by myself." The cycle keeps repeating itself, and you end up with a toxic society, you know, with people who are broken. They don't even understand why. So you you have to you have to be selfish enough to. Even 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 if you don't like that person all that much, you think he's toxic. As long as he's not hitting you, he's not mean to your kids and whatever. I think if if I was in that situation, and I'm seeing this cycle, my parents were not married, my grandparents were not married. I would try end that cycle for my family at that point. I would at least try and make that um good image that that um. To give to give people a point a point of reference of something that works, for, at least for my kids, you know, marriage is not supposed to be easy. Easy, nothing easy is good. For me, I, I always go for the difficult stuff. If, if something's too easy, then you know, it's not worth it. Everybody can do it, and if everybody can do it, it's not worth it. So, do it for for your family. Do it for them to be able to to see. To have a point of reference and to see something that is good that is working. Not all the time broken families. Make a family with the man you made babies with. Mm -mm. No. Why is she nodding? Happy. Like, hmm. Happy. Like Now, before she, is the idea of just marrying the person you, you made babies with such, such a painful idea? What is the guy doing to you that maybe you haven't revealed yet? Um, it's, it's, it's so, it's so difficult that you, 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 you're crying. Is that, is that me or, or is she now regretting that the fact that she's, she did not do that? Happy? Like, Happy? Like, now, before she cries, understand them. She said the man wants to marry her. I just, it's like, I, I listen to you. I, I watch you all the time. And I think about it all the time. Like, should I just stay with him? Should I just, at this point, it's like I just have to settle because you have to do what like you settle yeah because at this huh? point like you say i watch you all the time so i know you're saying like you're 32 you have two children it's like it's over for you you know i hear you say that all the time settle like, for the man you decided to have you made a conscious decision to have two children with the man so let's play it the opposite way shall we where all my critics and detractors are going to say, she's about to cry. He's saying, here, okay, let's play it the opposite way. 54% of black men are single and childless. 61% in the middle class. You're looking for a stepfather. 30% of men are already married. 16% of men are responsible for 80% of the children. So you'd be looking for a man in that 54%, a stepfather, a man with no children. Why should a man who is not childless come take on another man's two daughters well I'm that man that man who does that in fact is the one who's settling if you want to talk about settling you are basically you don't want to settle 
but you made kids with this man two 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 daughters and you expect a man who is single who is working on himself who is who has not had kids you know he's he's um he's been looking taking care of his seeds right and you want him to come and take care of your kids with another man and you're complaining about settling you are basically asking someone else to come and settle instead instead of you settling settling for me in this particular situation was you deciding to get to give this man kids while you really don't like him all that much or you think he's is toxic right we can call that settling in this situation because marrying the person that you made kids with is actually winning for ladies that is winning it's not settling i don't understand what this two two daughters right mm-hmm. right and, the, and and that father wants to be with you his the father of his children wants to be with you so that man is going to have some feelings. Do you understand the situation that a man would be stepping into? He'd be going into a situation with two children who are females with an active father who still wants to be with the mother of the children. Do you want to have any more children? I really I really don't and that's the Thank what you. I was going to say. The man doesn't what even get gonna... any kids. <laughs> no. That is pure selfishness. It's pure selfishness. You're just thinking about yourself. You don't really care about anybody else. You don't care about the kids, having the real father, the biological father who is going to take care of them most likely better than any other man because he's loving his kids, right? That is selfishness in, in the, to begin with. You know, it's selfish even to 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 the extent that you don't even care what it's good for your kids. Secondly, you're selfish that you wouldn't want to settle with this person who wants to be with you, right? Because you think he's toxic. But again, he she's not mentioned what what she thinks is toxic about this person. However, she's also selfish enough to expect another man to come into the family that is pre-made for him and not even have a kid for himself. That is, I mean, I don't know if she realizes this, but that is really, really, really selfish. If someone expects me to come and take care of their own children, and I don't have my own. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I'm not, she isn't, she isn't willing to have kids. Ah. Oh, I was, I was going to, what I was going to say, I don't, but if I find someone that makes me happy. I don't mind having make your damn children. self happy, ma'am. Oh, happiness man. is not what happiness is not. Uh, hear me and hear me well, ladies. So this so this person is just supposed to come and do everything for you to make you happy, so that you can give him a kid. And he's taking care of your of kids that are not even his. He's a stepfather to your kids. Ah, give me a break. This is just. It's ridiculous. My critics and detractors, it is not a man's job to make you happy. It is not a husband's job to make you happy. That is a lie from the pit of hell and I rebuke you. I rebuke you. It is not our job. That is not our job description. It is our job to protect, provide, prophesy, teach. It is not our job to make you happy. You want to be happy? Eat a chocolate chip cookie. Watch a movie. <laughs> uh, pet a puppy. It is not our job to make you happy. So what? what is your, what are y'all's job? I just told you. Protection. Provision. But that makes you happy. Protection. That makes me happy. No. You... Happiness comes from within. Yeah, that too. This is why y'all need to stop having babies because that's the problem. You had kids and now it is forever going to change how you come into the marketplace. It reduces your sexual marketplace value. And it is difficult, if not impossible, to go out and expect a man to 
come and be a husband to you, a stepfather to two children, have to get out here and fight the world and turn around and make you happy. What in the hell are you bringing to that man to overcome all of that that he can't get from a single childless woman? Goodness. <laughs> this is Kevin Samuels of this best. <laughs> but, but again, this, this lady is just delusional. I mean, she, she, she really needs to hear this. Because she, I, I, at some point, I think ladies think men are stupid. I think men will just do anything to get some, you know, some meat. I think that's it. I think they just think, oh, well, I'm gonna just going to give it to someone else then. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see how a man could come to this and just be like, yo, yeah, I mean, I'm getting a nice deal. I'm getting some nice meat here. I'm going to take care of your family. I mean... Men can buy sex. It's not, it's not such a big deal. But you have, you have to give them a nice proper deal for them to settle. And this is no way close to a good deal. The guy might, the guy, the, the, the father's kids might be bothering the other dude like a lot. Why would I come to that, into that situation? But of course, to be able to navigate that, ladies tend to, um, demonize their, their father's kids they'd be like oh you know my baby daddy is like um this and this and this he's so he's not nice he's not in the picture i mean he's a deadbeat yada 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 in fact in this situation the guy is not even a deadbeat he wants to be part of the family he wants to marry this woman and have a family with her she's the one who's having trouble or making it this difficult well, other ladies are complaining of deadbeats. <laughs> she is basically saying, "I don't, I don't want you." Ugh. And what if I, what if I? Want uh, -uh. To the man see, you answer a question with the question is disingenuous, class. How does that work? They never want to answer the question that's difficult. They want to either go past it or answer a question with a question. Please answer my question. What are you bringing to a single childless man that he cannot get from a woman who is single and childless? I'm bringing me. I'm bringing. Oh, I mean, I can have more kids. What can you bring to a man that he wants? I'm bringing me. You have kids. You, you're bringing you and two, two kids and possibly violence from your father's kids. That is not good. You have to, don't bring yourself in fact. Bring something else. You should be just something extra. Bring everything else that is so much better than you, then put yourself there. Guys, don't marry single <laughs> women, or at least consider it. Really, you should really take your time to consider settling with a single mom. I mean, there, there are awesome single moms out there, but I, I really wouldn't advise anyone to settle down with some someone, Unle unless their uh, baby daddy died, that, that would be something different, and maybe they were married, their husband died in that situation, right? I mean, in that case, I'd be like, okay, maybe let me take care of this family. But someone who is just like this, there's no way, man. There's no way. Also, I would also consider it if I had my my own kids in a different situation, and that is not happening. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting if I'm getting kids, I'm marrying the person I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting a kids with, you know. But I mean, I'm not perfect, but I'll try. I'll make sure I try to make that happen. If I'm ever gonna have kids, I'm marrying the I'm marrying their mom, right? Or I'm marrying their mom, then having kids. That you haven't already given to another man. But what if he loves me? Like, what if see? he... See? Mm. see guys, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a simp. A simp that's going to be blinded by this beauty. 
First of all, <laughs> I really don't think she's all that. Class, <laughs> here we go again, class. When you don't answer a question or when you answer a question with a question, it is disingenuous and bad faith. I'm going to teach this one way or another. You refuse to answer the hard question because the answer is nothing. What do you have to give to a man that he wants that you have not already given to another man? I can be submissive. I could be cooperative. You've not been submissive and cooperative with another man? <laughs> See, this is what it, what it means to overvalue yourself. The answer is, I don't have anything to give to a man that he wants that I have not already given to another man. You've given the most valuable thing you can ever give to a man, your womb. Right. So, ma'am, when I say it's over, it's because you've chosen. Mm -hmm. Take your prize and go home. Okay. Your prize is the man you give the kids to. That is the prize. That is as good as, as, as it ever gets. If you don't want to settle with that, then most likely you're going to be alone. And it happens. It's not only in the U.S., even in Kenya. We, have, we see it all the time. Single moms, generally, no one wants to deal with them. No one. Um, so it's, it's just human nature. In this case, man nature. We want our own kids. We want to take care of our own children. We are selfish. Human beings are innat innately selfish. We, we don't want to hustle so much to take care of someone else's problems or responsibilities. That is just not how we human beings are wired. And if you understand human nature, you're better you're better off living life, you know, and navigating life because you'll understand if I'm doing this, it might affect me later. You know, you because you're selfish also. You should be selfish. So it's an important trait. You should be selfish but also learn when to be selfless. I know I, know I said she's selfish, but it's a balance. You don't you just don't take one side. You can be you can be an extreme in one side. Don't also be too selfless. People are going to walk all over you, right? It's a, you have to strike that balance. And when people see you only focusing on yourself, it's difficult for them to trust you. They obviously see you trying to deal with them because you want to get something from them, right? Being selfish. Isn't isn't bad by itself. It's a human trait. However, you have to strike that balance. Why should a man overlook a single childless woman who he can start his own family with? Who can focus on him solely? Your man would never get you alone. Everything would have to be... You guys go out to eat dinner, it's going to be four. Every place you live, you got to have room enough for two kids. There is never a single version of you. This is what having kids outside of wedlock does, and we need to show this more often so when you ladies choose to do this, you understand everything you're signing up for. And at the end of the day, for my people who think I'm being harsh, remember her child's father wants to be with her. She doesn't want to be with him because he doesn't make her happy. <laughs> but it's because he is unfaithful. Hmm. And you, okay. You want, want to go down that path? I'll go down that path with you. You want to go hmm. down that path? How many times have you cheated on him? Never cheated on him. Uh-huh. How many male friends do you have? I don't have any male friends. You on social media? Yes, I have a social media. Uh -huh. So if you turned over, if you turned your your smartphone and your in, and your inboxes all over to him, there'd be no problem. There'll all be no your problem. media. Okay. There'll be no problem. I don't. He I cheats. Have, and when was the last time he cheated? He cheated. Mm -hmm. Um, around the time when I had my had my babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How'd you but find we out were never. We're, how'd you, after, how'd you find out my, about it? How'd you find out about it? 
Well, you know, I found out about it by women calling my phone. And no, 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 no. I want to be clear. The woman he was having sex with called your phone. Yes. Multiple I, women were calling okay. my phone. First of all, if why, why would a woman who's who knows about your existence call you because he had sex with your partner? Like, is that really something that occasionally happens? Most of the time, it's usually um, some a, a wife who is married. Then she finds out that you are the side chick, right? That's the normal occasion. That's how it usually happens. So the wife calls the side chick, right? Um, that is how it normally happens. But in this situation, she she was the main one. And the side one, side chicks were calling her to do what? Like, that it, am, am I tripping or what? Um, <laughs> um, I could be wrong though, um, but that's how I've, I've seen it happening on on most occasions. At least that's how it happens here. I don't know about there, but oh, no, 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 uh, I want to be clear. The woman he was having sex with called your phone. Yes, multiple I, women were calling. Okay. My phone. Why? Um, they were calling me, telling me that he was cheating, that uh, they were pregnant as well. Um, you know. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> so you're saying you're dealing with a man who was dealing with women who was just calling you up saying, oh, yeah, by the way, your baby daddy, he got me pregnant too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why sixteen percent of the that's why eighty percent of our kids come from sixteen uh, percent of men. Man, I, I hate to be. I'm be. Wow, that's a crazy statistic. Sixteen <laughs> percent of men with uh, are the are the, uh, are, are the respons are responsible for eighty percent of the kids. Like, how does that even happen? Like, yo, <laughs> six. Wow. Man, I don't have kids, so I'm not even in that bracket. <laughs> be honest, that's what you signed up for. Yeah. And I want you to understand, I'm coming at it from the single and childless 54% of men. I want you to hear how this would sound to them. Yeah, give me that job. Let me go. I want that job. I want to sign up for her and all that drama and all that trauma. Did he cheat on you after you had your first child? Yes. Then why'd you have a second? Oh. Mm. Mm. Why would you have a second? First of all, the point where Kevin Samuel says, like, do you think there are men who like are trying to apply to, to that position, really? Who who is willing to come and deal with that? Like it really just makes sense for you to settle down with the person you we had kids with. Like, it really does. And I never understand why women think they're going to have it better once they've left their, their baby daddy. Like, it just doesn't make sense. If you're a woman, watch this, and you, you ever get pregnant, or if you're pregnant, just, man, try stick with the person you, you made kids with. In, in Kenya, <laughs> girls are, like they try to go back to their homes and the parents take them back right to their husband's homes they're like yo man my husband did this 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 i don't like him anymore and the parents are like oh okay really um well that's your husband you're the one who chose him um let me drive you back to your man's place we're going to talk while we are there you know that's how, that is how it goes down here the parents would not just take you back. <laughs> yep. You signed up for it. And so you're saying... I'm saying, ma'am, did you not? But did you not? Stay with him. Did he, did you not, though? Before, So I'm saying, did you not? Did he... <laughs> he showed you who he was, and you laid down and made another one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, well. And now I want to get out of the situation. I don't want okay, to. Okay, well, get out of it. Oh stay by yourself. God, you are so deep in the situation. You are so freaking deep. Like, you should have left it even before you had the first baby. 
the second baby and then you're complaining of your son you you want to leave the situation like man that's stupid that is stupid don't so don't be, get out of the situation or don't you get no him. other man I'm, I'm, okay you get no other man you can have sex but you don't get a husband I'm gonna just what be real. I... You can have sex, don't get a husband, don't get in a relationship. Not when no man is worth nothing. Mm, 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 a man is worth nothing ain't gonna be involved in all this. Be like, what the hell? Because see, you don't get any better than your baby daddy. Nope, you don't. So your baby daddy, if you you weren't gonna marry your baby daddy, you don't get to go up in value with age and use. You only you don't go, get to go dumb. up in value with reduce with reduced sexual marketplace value. That's why my critics and detractors don't like me because I keep telling the truth and be consistent. You don't get to all of a sudden get Prince Charming after you've been fucking around with a toad. That's what you got. <laughs> because that man has to look, listen, because the new man has to look and say, wait a minute, I'm an upgrade from, from this joker. He got two kids and you don't even want to have no babies unless he makes you happy. And you're oh. 30 what? 30 what? 30 <laughs> Right, right. You're almost a geriatric pregnancy anyway. Let's be real. You don't want to have no more babies because you got your hands full. So oh. This man don't even get his own kids. He got to take care of two kids from a, from a toad and deal with all this toad mess. Uh, and I haven't even uh. asked this question. How tall? You have to take care of kids from a toad, man. Kevin, Kevin, why are you saying the truth like this, man? <laughs> but man, this is, this is Kevin Simon at his best. This video is fire, man. Oof. He is eating her alive, man. But I hope he, she really considers this because this is the honest truth from a male perspective. Guys are going to hit. They are going to hit. Don't, don't stress about having sex. It's going to come. People will bend your back whichever way you want it done, right? Settling, deciding I'm going to take care of this family, is a whole other level. Men will not do that. I, I would even go to an extent of saying 95% of men will not take this deal. Alright? So you're, you're, you're betting on like 5% chance. And the 5% you're talking about men with no kids, uh, the gays, um, people with no good employment, you know. So you also have to narrow that down even much more it's not it's not a good it's not a good deal stick with your man <laughs> stick with you stick with your baby daddy man take that ring you know then wait for your sunset it's it's over man this is the climax this is as good as it gets how are you oh okay <clears throat> um i am five six dress size Dress size 12. <laughs> How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? I weigh 198. And you know, just like I know. <laughs> See? But I'm not looking for a high value man. Doesn't matter, ma'am. Mm. See this? And, and I want to go back to the, the young lady who was 29 years old. Mm. Remember, young lady, when I said, your competition, y'all all think that average black men need to settle for overweight women. No, oh, man. I'm working on it. I'm doing my Pilates, like you said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. You picked your baby daddy. Be with my baby daddy, okay. You picked your baby. He's not your. He's not your husband. He's your baby daddy. You picked him. And I hope you understand as an advocate for men why I don't think it would be fair to ask a single childless man to come in here into, a, into such a chaotic situation with a woman who has nothing new to offer him, who's not even, you know, what you would say, I'm working on it, so it's not even that target. Doesn't get any kids out of the deal. <laughs> I, I'm I'm struggling. You may be a perfectly nice and lovely person, but there has to be a value proposition for a man to over to take on such liability and risk. What are you bringing to the proverbial table that outshines all the other women who have fewer liabilities and fewer risks? Yeah, you have to be able to articulate that and show that in a demonstrable way.
And it can't just be, I'm me. That ain't good enough. Nope. You don't go into a job interview for a job that's paying $150,000 and say, I'm me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And see, to my critics and detractors, this is the outcome of telling women you can have it all. You need to be happy. If, if the problem was infidelity, then you guys need to figure something out. If he, were, if he were not being, if he were not cheating, could you be together? Yes. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Then y'all need to work that out because I'm not a fan of men cheating sloppily in particular if he's going to do something as reckless as that then he needs to make sure one he's not putting the family at jeopardy two not bringing home any outside kids or diseases not putting the family at risk and not embarrassing you in person and in, in public or in, in private yeah man you need to pull up your sex on the cheating game or <laughs> Eat the cheat in style. Don't just do it sloppily. <laughs> but but I, I guess I understand what he's saying. Like, you know, you, you need you need to take care of yourself and your family because you might end up also killing your family by by going out there and just having sex with any random woman, right? You need to to make sure if you're doing something, you know, wrap it up. Don't take diseases back home, you know might open your kids that diseases like AIDS and whatever other things are out there I might bring up in your family and end up killing your wife or your woman or yourself you know take care of yourself man that's what I believe have you told him if you get this together we can be together but if you don't we can't I, yes, I have told him this plenty of okay. times. I told him like right. stuff gotta go. You gotta and then you have to you have to get yourself together, you know. All right, and you did, um, and I gotta I gotta ask you this may this may sting, but did you tell him that before you after you had the first child before you had the second? I told him this after my second, second child. All right. Yes. I told him this after my second child. Have you guys ever sat down and had any couples counseling? No, we never have. Then you need to try that. Because I don't I mean, think what you're asking for, I don't think what you're asking for is unreasonable. I think you have far better chance of having a happier life if you get this fixed than trying yeah. to go make something with somebody else who is not going, I'm concerned that the guy would not be getting the best deal for him. Mm -hmm. See, I, people I, may I, not I, like I, my approach, but man, life is about a negotiation. You tell him, look, we can be together if this happens. Get it under control. Blah, 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 blah. And I miss, I misses and you missed her. Miss whatever and Mr. So-and-so. But then he also needs to hear something from a man like myself saying, man, if you're going to do something as reckless as cheating, you need to have some rules with it because you cannot be bringing home babies, diseases, putting the family at risk, outside kids, and you can't be embarrassing your woman in person or in private, in public or in private. Mm -hmm. That's what Big Mom and Big Daddy had. They had rules. They had conversations. They didn't leave. That's what makes family. You work through the stuff. You don't just try to start building. Imagine if you started building a house, right? And you find a lot. Mm -hmm. And then you bring all the materials and then you pour the concrete for the foundation. Then you start building. Then it rains. You don't go to find another lot to start all over. You dry mm -hmm. it out and you continue to build. But in the black community, we got a bunch of partially built houses trying to make a neighborhood and community. Uh, no. The houses that su survived the, the stuff like you guys had are the stronger for it after you really truly resolve the issue. Wow. I, like that's a perfect way to put it, right? Like 
you you just don't go starting something completely different just because you had a few issues like is happiness really something that that you can't fix up you can just spice, spice up your life you can I, i don't i think the cheating thing yes um but I didn't, I didn't see her mentioning something that was so bad that it cannot be fixed that we cannot solve this situation so we the only way to do this is to for us to break this family our kids are going to have a shitty life but man I'm not I'm not dealing with you because I'm not happy that that that, that, that doesn't cut it that does not really cut it it's It, it is so blind and i think it's more of it's more of an influence rather than anything else that that she sees you know that maybe the family might say something you know they they know he has had another kid with someone else maybe it's that i think it's far more reasonable just think about it suggest 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 a path forward with him couples counseling put some ground rules out in public because I'm quite sure the girls would like her daddy home and y'all would probably be better off together. Yeah. You really don't want, and let me also say this. You don't want a strange man around your daughters. I don't. I don't. I know. Oh, does he man. have, does your, does your does child's father have any other children? Yes, he does. He has um, two other children. Are they in the same city? Yes. Uh. I, All right, I'm going to ask you this hard question. Are they around your daughters? Are, you, are they around your kids' age? Yes, they are. I'm, okay. My father had a lot of kids. But you know what? Yes, he he's, he's, he's my, my, but, my, but my father also married the woman who had most of his kids. So I'm going to tell you right now, I know how this kind of goes. You would rather be the mother to marry some dude, to marry some than because you know you feel some kind of way if you marry one of the mother women. I know that. I mean, yeah, I, I know the language I'm speaking. It sounds weird, but trust me, I've seen mothers. I've seen it. I've lived it. Try, and they stayed married till he died. And he stayed married for the rest of their life. So, I think is with me, it's just like an embarrassment thing, you know. Like, that's what okay, I said. No embarrassment in public or private. Mm, yeah, that's why I, I think I said it's like it. okay, you getting back with this. You know, they tell like people, well, you're getting back with this guy and he did this. Uh huh. You mean, cheated mean, on oh, yeah. your single yeah, child, yeah. you mean your single friend who ain't married? Yeah, that's right. No, nope. no, they look, are. Ma'am, look, ma'am, ma'am, look, ma'am, look, ma'am, look, ma'am, I've seen this. Yes, you're getting back with my, I'm getting back with my child's father. We're making ourselves a family. Yeah, that's right. Mm hmm. What you got to say about it? And if they got a problem, then you cut those friends. Yeah, friends really shouldn't determine your life like that. Like, in fact, they should encourage you to do that, right? And unless, of course, they are like single parents, also then they they just want to poison the well for every other person, right? Like that 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 seems to be the case a lot uh, on 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 this um, single mother boss chick lifestyle. You know, I, I see them spoiling for the for the other women. They're like, oh, you mean you just going to get married and just stay at home and let this man provide, and you're just there, you know? That's being lazy. It's it's really not. That's how it has been like over the years. It's, that's how nature wired us. Men are just providers by default. It's not it's not bad for a woman to look for something else, for something to do in the meantime, right? But I I've seen this a lot. Women spoil the well for for other women. They they boys they put ideas that are negative. They ain't friends if they get coming at you with that. Single women keep women. Are these women do have something to say. You said they're married. Yes, like a lot mm-hmm. of my. That's the reason why I feel okay. like there's okay. hope for me because my friends they uh, have outside children and they're married. Oh, okay. Men all right. That, I, I, all right. No. Play that game if you want to. No. You can do it. You can try it. One in four black women will marry in their lifetime. The odds and I don't are against know, you. If you watch my content, you will start to hear the men. Men are not rushing to be stepfathers. 
Nope. <laughs> Simple, plain. They're not rushing to be stepfathers. How no. And you believe there's hope. Okay, well if, you, if that's the case, then take all the money out your 401k, your Fidelity investments, and everything else, fly your ass out to Vegas and bet it all on 27 black on the roulette wheel. Let's hope. You could win. Yeah. I mean, instead of hoping, why don't you look at the mathematics in, in this? Like, let, let it help you instead of just sitting down and blindly thinking that things that happened to your friends are going to happen to you. It's, it's more unlikely, especially in this situation. You know, be more calculative. Look at situations and like say, yo, so there's this thing and the odds are that it, it's 50-50. 50 50, yes, sure, go for it. If the odds are way skewed towards you not getting that, <laughs> that deal, even if it's 1% possibility that you can get, even if it's 5%, I'm not going to take that deal. If it's a 5% chance that I'm getting something, it's, it's clear that I've lost. I have to throw myself 100 times to get five times right. No freaking way. So, even 50-50 is kind of, it's just in, the, in business terms or maybe in relationships. I, I'm good with 50-50, but if I have kids, if I have a baby daddy who wants to be with my family, if men in general don't want to deal with women with kids, why the fuck would I think I'm going to get some better deal out there? If we all know it's a it's a, the, the, for the most part, you're, the climax of the dating life or the person you're going to date is the person you give kids to. That is the best that you get. If you all know that, why, why would you think you're going to get something better out there? Even if you're looking for, she said she's not looking for a high value man. Even, even, even other guys, even simps wake up from all this situation. They, at, some, at some point, they get hit with the red pill. <laughs> and they're like, you know what? I'm doing everything in this family. And this, it's not even my family. I'm not even getting my own kid in this situation. Oh, fuck this. I'm out of here. <laughs> you made the babies, ma'am. I'm going to stick by what I said. I, I, I mean, but you, but you can get to do what you want to. But I don't want to see a, a single childless man out there dealing with this mess. A man with no. no, 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 no. So no. should I just only date men with children? God. Oh man. <laughs> Do what you want. <laughs> this is what I mean, and this is when you women become like children. She is so stubborn. She is extremely stubborn. However, I think if you would. Do that, it would be it would, it would slightly increase your chances. Though even single, even even men with kids, most likely they know they can get single women. You know, that is something we will know. Even even if I had a kid, I know I still know that I can get a, a single woman. So even in in that situation, you're still not um, on the winning side. Can it, mom, 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 can I, can I do whatever the hell you want? Because you are destined for, you want punishment, you want pain, keep it up. Go ahead, go ahead, do what you want to do. Go ahead, date men with children. Ride the cock carousel. Be used and abused Oof. by men who to tell you they want whatever after they have hit it for a few months, then they gone. Keep doing yeah. that. Keep recycling uh, the Johnsons. Until your daughters get to be about, you know, pubescent age. Then keep bringing these men around your kids. Yeah, go ahead and do that. That makes more sense. Yeah, go ahead. Ride the car carousel for the next 10 years. Start bringing these men around your prepubescent daughters. Yeah, that oh. makes much more sense. What am I talking about? Yeah, it oh. could happen. It could happen. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. My kid's father, he's an awesome father. Like, uh -huh. well, then, uh. then, then, uh, I mean, he's an awesome father and you're denying them that chance, man. Come on, man. This is stupid. I'm going to leave this, this video at this point. It's so painful to listen to her. Like, she's clearly, she's she's not really thinking straight in this in this particular sense. What do you guys think about this video? Let me know in the comments. And also, remember to like, subscribe, yee, and 
um, I have this email down here. <laughs> send me, send me some PayPal through that too. I mean, um, I'm hungry. I mean, Kenya, I'm in Africa. <laughs> jokes, jokes. Um, see you in the next video.